Hello there and everybody welcome back. We are in a new destination today. This is our summer 2021 trip and we have just arrived to the island of Madeira in Portugal. And this island is quite special because it's won numerous awards for being the number one island destination in all of Europe. Which being here for maybe a couple hours, I definitely, definitely believe it. So come along with us and we'll show you what there is to do here, what there is to see, and how you can enjoy it for yourself. We are on our way to our first attraction here in Madeira. It's called Cabo Giral and it's a lookout point here on the island that shows the city of Funchal. So for Cabo Giral you walk a little pathway that's right over here all the way down and then you get to the lookout point which is right here. Let me show you. So our first stop here in Madeira was Cabo Geral and the views here are just amazing. So unfortunately it started to rain but which is very classic of Madeira here. They say that if you don't like the weather just wait a little bit it's going to change. There is a cafe right after the lookout point so you can come here get some gelato if you want a coffee and just relax and so another thing to note if you're planning on coming to Cabo Geral is that it's only 20 minutes or so um, from the city of Funchal. So you definitely need to get a rental car. Oh, and I forgot to mention one other thing is that coming here is actually free of charge. You don't have to pay anything to get here. Um, and I definitely think it should be on your number one list when you come to Madeira. It's Hello, so now we are in Puerto Moniz. It is on the, I want to say, the western part, upper western part of the island here. So it's about an hour or so drive from the city of Funchal, which is where we're staying. Um, and we are here today to see the Piscinas Naturales, or natural spring pools. So when you come here, there's a little pathway that walks along some rocks and such, and you can see the natural spring pools here. Um, there's a few people actually swimming right now. It's around 9 a.m. in the morning. Um, kind of wish I brought my swimsuit. This would have been an awesome morning swim spot, but it's all right. It's still nice to just kind of look at and see. Two things if you are planning to come here. I think I said this before, but it takes about an hour drive from Punjab. And the parking here is free Monday through Friday before 11 p.m at 11 a.m. sorry. So if you're thinking about coming, definitely come in the early morning um, so you can have it pretty much to yourself because right now we have it all to ourselves. Now just 10 minutes walk from Las Vecinas Naturales, there is another place that you can actually go swimming in. So you pay a dollar or 150 euro to get into the area where you can go swimming. And then it's another one euro for some chairs and umbrellas. So super, super affordable. So you can spend a couple hours here just relaxing and enjoying the sun. We're here just enjoying the beautiful sunshine today in Madeira. Daniel's doing some epic drone footage right now of the ocean and the cliffs. And we're just living our best life over here. So we are now in the city of Funchal, the capital of Madeira. We are here to just walk around, see the city. Right now we're heading to the older town of Funchal. We are about to enter the famous supermarket. Um, they have a bunch of exotic fruits here, so we'll just check it out. I've heard that most of the locals don't shop here. It's mostly a tourist attraction, but Check it out. This market has every type of exotic fruit that you could ever, ever want to eat. So a really cool thing that you can do here is ask one of the sellers to have you sample one of the fruits. So if you don't know what a fruit is, they'll tell you what it is and you can sample. I just sampled actually a pineapple banana. So we just entered Old Town, Punchal, and specifically the Santa Maria Street. The street is famous for all of its street art. Um, and vibrant cafes and restaurants. 
so we're gonna explore it. We just found the cutest little restaurant here on Santa Maria Street. And we're gonna sit down, have some lunch, and then continue exploring. The second part of our day is consisting of hiking Santa do São Lorenzo, uh, which is on the eastern part of the island of Madeira. And it's supposed to have some spectacular views of these cliffs. So. According to our fellow YouTuber, um, it's about four hours if you take your time, you take some footage, take some good pictures. They have a few food trucks here right before you start the hike, so you can kind of fill up with water, grab some things to eat. We are about a couple minutes into the hike here. And we got quite a long way to go, but it's actually quite enjoyable and you get a little scenic view of the ocean nearby. All right, so we made it pretty much all the way. Now we have a decision to make. <laughs> So we just got to pretty much the end of the hike and to reward you when you get here, there's a little cafe where you can sit and get refreshments, coffee, some food, and just enjoy the view that you worked so hard to get to. Um, so we are gonna enjoy it to the fullest as long as we have. So we made it back. Surprisingly on the way back, it only took us about an hour to get back from the starting point. Um, be prepared to do a lot of stairs, a ton of stairs, and take a ton of breaks. There's some amazing viewpoints in this hike that we definitely recommend just stopping, getting some water in your system, and just checking it out because it's absolutely beautiful. Definitely recommend this hike. Arrived at the cable car, and this is the line to get a ticket to it, so, a little tip that we didn't do is come here super super early obviously if the weather is permitting but come here just to buy your ticket and then go back and wait for the time that you're going to go up but honestly this is a bit insane hopefully we'll make it on So we just got off the first cable car that brings you to the top of Funchal and then there's a second cable car that you can elect to buy a ticket for that gets you to the Botanical Gardens. We just had a little bit of lunch here at the Botanical Gardens. There's one little cafe once you get here with a cable car that you can have a little bite to eat and some coffee and you can enjoy it with this spectacular view. When you come to the Botanical Gardens here, um, the main attraction is actually this layout, this pattern layout of flowers. So we'll show it to you here and see if you think it's worth coming. So this place happens to be quite popular. There's a lot of tourists here. So definitely, as we always say, come here early so you can enjoy the views all to yourself and get some pictures without all the crowds in there too. If you do get hungry or thirsty, there are two different cafes. There's one right off, right when you get off the cable car and then when you walk towards down to the gardens, there is another cafe too. Both have beautiful views. I kind of wish we had waited and done the second one because it's a lot fancier, I'd have to say, and it offers a better view. Daniel's in his happy place. And you know me with my cappuccino. Look at so right when you arrive to the cable car to exit the botanical gardens, there is this epic lookout point where you can see all of Funchal. So before you leave, definitely take a quick second and walk over here so you can get an epic view of the city. It is our last night in Madeira and we are going out with a bang. So we all got we all came back to our favorite restaurant that we ate at at our first night here. We all got our favorite dishes. Come to this restaurant, the best one in Madeira.